Hello everyone, this uh, video is uh, about running PowerShell on uh, containers and uh, I will uh, go through uh, two methods is uh, installing uh, PowerShell on Ubuntu or using PowerShell in Docker and um, I will kind of compare in the end I will uh, give an example and I thought the uh, Exchange Online PowerShell V2 is a good example since we have like a preview version that is uh, kind of uh, secure and has a REST API and uh, the public version it's a uh, 0.4 I guess it's a uh, 0.5 now when you watch this video it might be another version but I think it's a good choice to play around with this uh, module before I start my intro so I launch my uh, my terminal. If you can see, I have uh, no images. I will uh, first install on Ubuntu from zero, so in a container. And uh, I am assuming that you understand Docker. If you need some help, please uh, comment below. I will uh, make a video on uh, on containers and Docker. So I will pull Ubuntu. I'm uh, using 20.04, so I will just uh, use the same version will start downloading and if you you check the images we have this I will uh, create a docker with this Ubuntu and follow this instruction I will kind of forward the, the video because it's it's gonna take a long time so I will uh, paste this uh, this documentation in the description so uh, if you're interested please uh, follow it's uh, it's a uh, pretty straightforward you you enter Ubuntu container and run PowerShell in the end, but you need all this. Let's do this. So I will create my uh, my container. It's gonna be Docker Ryan, and we want it interactive. And uh, let me get the image. Let's give it a name. I will call it from zero. You can give it any other name you want, and just paste this. And voila, we are in, inside the container. So I will follow the instruction. I will forward this uh, this video, but just follow the the instruction. And uh, I'd like to add that uh, in containers you will get an error if you use a uh, sudo uh, super user. So uh, you take uh, all this sudo and uh, run this. Uh, since I will install this from uh, zero, I will uh, just copy this. Go to any text editor, and uh, I will. Uh, as you can see here, we don't need sudo in the container, so I just replace it, add the space, press all, and uh, copy this, and uh, let's go to my terminal, and I will paste it, and let it do uh, its job. Uh, while we're doing this, I will go to another terminal, and uh, I will. Uh, uh, Cool. Windows Docker, so you can just uh, run it directly. But I'll, I'd like to uh, download it so uh, and uh, oh, in the pool here. So we will uh, run uh, the, uh, the container, create container directly from this image. It's going to be quite easier than the. This one because we have to, to do a lot of steps but it's a good idea to uh, to run this one too you get an idea about how uh, it works so i will go back to my uh, other terminal and if i check uh, images we have the, the new one too so uh docker run we want to interactive i'm really bad in the naming stuff but i would call it powershell image I will give it the image and uh, what you can see here that we go right way in uh, to, to the PowerShell inside the container you can use all the commandlets in the PowerShell for example so get directory and, uh, if uh, I guess if you use to Linux this is the, the what you get but it's exactly what what we have here and uh, I will get the modules while we're waiting for the other get modules and the uh, list available this is what we have from zero and uh, I'd like to install the 
Exchange Online Management module. I will use this uh, container for the preview version of this module and uh, the other container I will uh, use it for uh, the public release. If I run the PowerShell, I will get the same as here. But there's a little bit, a little, a little difference. If you run exit here, you will uh, be still in, uh, in the container. But in here, if you run exit, you will leave uh, the whole container. So, uh, is there a way to stay in the container and have your bash back without leaving the container? So, let me get the containers. So, the from uh, PowerShell container is off. Let's check. Again. And we can start with the PowerShell command. So, I will just uh, Docker, execute, and uh, we want to interactive. The PowerShell image, <laughs> the weird name we gave it. And uh, we want to start with the PowerShell. Oh, we can use the whole string as well. We are in a previous location. Is there a way to uh, stay inside and leave a PowerShell? Yes, you just uh, run bash and voila. If I run another terminal and uh, Docker and get the images, and uh, this PowerShell image, if you remember, it's 540. Five, it's, uh, uh, it's here, and uh, the other one, it's, uh, it's this. So we are in the uh, in a good shape. So let's uh, run PowerShell from here since we have it installed, and uh, the same here. So PowerShell, and now let's uh, let's install a module. So I will install module and it's exchange. And, and we will allow pre-release and uh, here we will just install the public one so install and uh, it's explained the preview is like more secure and doesn't uh, use the basic authentication so if you want the public one you will have to uh, go through other settings so you can use the basic auth but for a uh, 0.6 it's like more secure it's backed by a uh, rest api and uh, we'll see why we're doing this so i will uh, connect first with the public uh, module so connect And uh, this is where we go to, uh, to this uh, area. And uh, maybe in the next video I will talk about uh, an attended script. But for this, it's like the basic one that we want to try first. If you come here, you see that we uh, we need like a browser to log in. But since we are in uh, containers, remember, we can't do that. So there is a way to uh, just uh, use a device. And uh, once you use device, you can uh, use any device. I mean, you can use uh, your phone and log in, proof it's you, authenticate. So let's just uh, use device. And it's telling you that you log in in here and enter this code. You can do this from any device, by the way. And I will do it here. So to enter the code. And it does remember my account. I will still have. Uh, you will uh, be asked to enter your password and if you have MFA you will have to go through other procedures 
So we get an error as expected. So I will go to uh, the other container and finish first. And I will come back to this container and uh, fix this error. So here, let's do uh, connect change online using device. I will copy this link. Uh, and I will insert this. So basically, you can do this in uh, any device. As you can see here, it's not like uh, the public uh, version. It tells you that um, this is a uh, more secure and uh, we'll come back to this after fixing the other container so what we will do is uh, go back to this documentation go to about partial if you go down a little bit you'll find uh, other OS's than, uh, than Windows explain to you how to resolve this uh, issue if you want to use the public uh, version just come here and uh, Lucky us, we have a uh, supported version of uh, Ubuntu. If you remember, we installed it from zero. So I will uh, in a container and I will uh, copy this and wait for me is a mess and uh, okay. So uh, I will go back to bash and uh, partial again so now if we try let me give some space so I will uh, connect again and uh, copy this link and go to a private window and see if we can use it so, cross your fingers and uh, okay so it's a uh, it does uh, take time and uh, it's different from uh, the other if you remember this one was uh, quicker and uh, it tells you here that it it doesn't require WinRM and uh, all the and it's secure so hopefully this is going to be uh, really soon and uh, public so if I get again installed module we have two modules the one we just uh, installed and then of course the exchange online version 0.5 let me clear screen what we will do now is uh, just get exchange online mailbox and voila we are connected and same here Good. same result i think this is it for today i hope you learned something so this is the, there is a difference between uh, like the preview version that uses api and uh, the public one that uh, you have to go through uh, other steps and uh, if you're on mac is your steps it's uh, basically the same uh, as a bonus I will export uh, users from uh, the container to a local host so I will uh, just uh, put this in the variable again a whole it's something like foo if you want so it's a uh, git exchange online no box I will select just a uh, display name Partial is not case sensitive, so and the user prints and uh, okay. So I will just export locally. So export CSV and I will call it users in CSV. So if I do an ls over here maybe not the best location but that's not the point today and uh, I will go back here 
the export so let's get our containers so docker yes and this is uh, the container with the, the csv we'll copy it we'll uh, use uh, this command to uh, copy so copy from uh, our container and we have it in root so it's going to be users csv destination to our desktop so and uh, if I uh, go to my desktop yeah. thank you for your time and talk to you soon I think this is it for today and uh, hope you like uh, my uh, content I will go uh, through uh, containers deeper in uh, future videos along with the PowerShell on Linux or Windows system or uh, containers also and uh, please comment if you need anything and I will just uh, come up with other ideas and uh, videos in the future and I think uh, it might help you guys alright so uh, talk to you soon